Welcome back to Mustang Media. I'm Isaac Morris. And I'm Kerrigan Hun. Thank you guys for joining us this week. We hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving break. Let's kick off this 2019 holiday season with a bake-off. Collister Ryan has a story. I'm Austin. And I'm Collister. And this is the Holiday Bake-Off. What's up guys, I'm Max. And I'm Molly. From Molly and Max Eat Snacks. And today we have special guest Colin Geisler. Hi. Um, so as the guest judges for this holiday bake-off, um, we were first instructed to place our bets on who we think is going to have the best, what are they making? Cake, I think. Cake thingy. So, Colin? Uh, my money's on Collister. I think I might have to put my money on Collister also. He's got, his mom's a really good baker, makes some great, so good, some great red velvet cupcakes. Um, you know, I was going to go for Collister, and then I watched Austin spray the Pam onto his cookie sheet, and I'm also going to have to go with Collister after watching <laughs> Wait. that. It's time for the tasting. 
So going off appearance, this one is Collister's, and that is Austin's. Austin's. <laughs> is this gonna be like out of 10 or like? The cat making that noise is not <laughs> making this any more appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it tasted better when it was first in my mouth rather than the aftertaste. I think the, I don't know if I liked the chocolate with it. Pretty good. Tastes like you guys made the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh. I think Collister's cake is better. That's what I was gonna but say. But Austin's frosting I think, is better. I think Collister's cake is better, but Austin's frosting is better as well. I think. All right. Appearance. We'll start with appearance. For That's appearance, Collister definitely wins this yes. one. <laughs> also, I would I would give Collister a, a seven. I give Collister yeah a seven, and Austin honestly is a six. He really stepped up with the SCSP. The SDSP looked great, but his the, like, his frosting <laughs> his frosting appliance was not great. So for that reason, I would give him a five. I think he gets a four. I gave Collister a seven. You gave Collister a seven on appearance. Seven seems like a fair number. <laughs> so an average of seven, seven. <laughs> for taste. So Collister wins for appearance. You do have a better frosting, but I think Collister has a better <coughs> cake. Therefore, I can't really decide who is better. Yeah. So, therefore, if we average out the scores, Collister wins. Yeah, overall, Collister wins by yeah. a smidge, just because his design was a little better. Thank you, Collister. Molly Michaelis gives us the scoop about the Bell Tree Farm. Students at Salina Central have a variety of after-school jobs. During the wintertime, a select group of students work at the Bell Christmas Tree Farm. We talked to sophomores Chris Morton and Connor Phelps about their job at the tree farm. I worked at the Bell Tree Farm for two years now. It's the perfect family-friendly place to pick out a, your Christmas tree. At the tree farm, they cut down trees, make deliveries, and help out in the shed. Well, when somebody picks out a tree and they cut it down or they get it from the barn, I shake the trees and then I put them through the netter and that's pretty much it. It's a regrowing year, but we still have plenty of Christmas trees to so come out to pick one up. If you're in need of a Christmas tree, be sure to go give Connor and Chris a visit at Bell Tree Farm. Thank you, Molly. Let's take a break and switch it over to the Reed Fact. Fun Facts with Reed. It's Friday note. That means it's time for a fact. Did you know that there are more public libraries in the U.S. than there are McDonald's? Thank you, Reed. Black Friday has always swept stores all across the nation. Max Schaefer gives us a story. Black Friday is a renowned event where stores put a tremendous discount on many of their items. The large discounts give people the opportunity to buy things they might not be able to afford on any other given day. Junior Mackenzie Maring went Black Friday shopping along with senior Sarah Opat. Maring and Opat talk about Black Friday's yearly success. Black Friday is really good to have, especially during the holiday season, because it's a great way to save money and get gifts for all your friends and family. I think it's really crazy how stores can discount up to 70% off and still make a huge profit off of their items. Black Friday falls about like on the perfect time because it's Christmas time, obviously, and you have to buy a lot of gifts for other people, so being able to get those gifts on sale is always nice. Um, I think that stores are still making great profit on Black Friday just because like when items or products are on sale, like I'm more interested in that product myself, so people are obviously buying more of the product when it's on sale. Cyber Monday also gives large discounts except for online shop. Maring and Opat tell their thoughts about Cyber Monday's convenience. I think Cyber Monday is good to have, especially during the holiday season, because I do a lot more online shopping to begin with, and since we live in Salina, it's not like we have a big variety of stuff we can go get. I think Cyber Monday is good to have just because some stores only carry certain products or items online and they don't carry it in stores. Finally, Ethan shows us a day in the life of his service dog, Melody. I'm Ethan Brown. 
the sports reporter on the Mustang Media staff. I'm typically on here talking about the latest trend in sports, but today I'm here to talk to you about what you probably remember about me, my dog Melody. Melody is a service dog, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she's a complete robot of a dog. At home, she does typical dog things like sleep and chew on bones and run around. While she's at school, you may see her sleep a lot, but she does a whole lot of dog things at home. See you guys next time. Thanks, Ethan. What's new this week in sports? Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Isaac. Welcome back from the Turkey Bowl break, my brethren. Here, I'm Ethan Brown, and this is my sports report. All right. Swimming has officially started after their meet at South yesterday, and today the basketball team is in Goddard. Back to you guys. Well, that concludes this week's edition of Mustang Media. I'm Kerrigan Hutton. And I'm Isaac Morris. Good night and good luck, Mustangs.